Hi, everyone. I hope everyone had a great uh, time with this module. I know I did, uh, some good, some bad. Um, but I figured I would share my story. I'm going to share one story with you uh, because I can't be there live with you today. Um, and this story actually hits all of my um, diamond parts. Um, so it works on my strengths which is um, power force. And then my inner conflict, um, so my negatives are, uh, I dubbed them as tornado. And then my inner conflicts, um, my positive was precision. And then weakness, um, I did buried alive. Um, so this is uh, my story of how I overcame some of those and um, I hope you enjoy. So I had a dog named Breeze on. She was six years old and all of a sudden she was not running her agility courses uh, the way that she used to. So I took her to an orthopedic um, surgeon that I had worked with for many years and he could not find anything wrong with her. So we rested her and brought her back to mild uh, practice two weeks later and she started doing the same thing. There was no lameness, nothing. She was just off. And me being a conscious owner of my dog, I am very in tune to her and something just wasn't right. Um, so finally, six weeks later, uh, she was holding up one of her hind legs. Um, so I called up um, my doctor and he said, bring her right in. We finally located the pain in her lower um, lumbar area. So her lumbar sacrum. And uh, fast forward, uh, we quickly got her to a neurologist and she had an MRI. So the MRI uh, revealed a bulging disc in her LS region. And both the neurologist and my orthopedic surgeon wanted to do surgery on her. Um, me being the rehab person I am, and her being the very active agility dog, she was full into her career at this point. Uh, we trialed every weekend. And uh, I did not think that was a great option for her. She was still able to walk, so she was not paralyzed at this point. So surgery was not emergent. So I decided to rehab her myself. And um, we did a course of acupuncture, laser therapy, lots of massage and underwater treadmill and uh, leash walks only. So this was very hard for Breezen as she was an active um, agility dog, but we, um, yeah, we did this and both the surgeon and the neurologist both said, see you in two weeks for surgery. This is not going to work. And I said, okay, um, not that I wanna prove you wrong, but I do wanna prove you wrong. And I'm gonna try my way. And if it doesn't work, um, I will be back. So I did my regimen, gradually increasing her exercise and whatnot over 12 weeks. Uh, very hard on her, very hard on me. Um, but I had to take all the agility equipment away from the yard. Uh, there, there couldn't be any toys or balls around. Um, so I brought her back for a recheck to the surgeon and he was amazed at how well she was doing. Um, so we gradually started bringing her back to um, her agility work. And five months after the initial diagnosis, she went back to full blown agility competition and earned uh, two agility championships. I have her collage I wish I had it here, but I have it at work, um, of her two championships that she got. And I sent both the surgeon and the neurologist uh, a copy of that collage, uh, just as a reminder to them that there are other ways that things can be done. So dogs and people can go back to their um, more active lifestyle. The surgery would have compromised her spine they have to uh, drill away um, part of the vertebrae to get to the disc. Um, so uh, I don't think a dog after it's had that kind of surgery should go back to agility. 
Um, so that is kind of my story. And I use that story a lot with uh, different aspects of my life as far as uh, my clients, um, referring veterinarians, um, anything like that, that I can tweak this story and hone in on the parts that um, are, you know, to that particular person or circumstance. Um, so there's so many good things there of my um, diamond. I decided to share that story with you. I hope everyone has a great day and I miss you all. Bye.